This is a short high level video looking at how your business can follow the making tax digital rules efficiently and with relatively low costs. There are a number of ways of doing that. In this instance, we're going to look at bridging software and particularly the Cirrostratus software, but there are other ways of doing it as well. The law is VAT Notice 7022, and I like to summarize that as simply this. You need to keep your accounts electronically. Electronically doesn't mean necessarily in the cloud, but that's one way of doing it. It could be in a spreadsheet. It could also be in an old desktop system. There's no reason why you necessarily have to change your computer system to follow Making Tax Digital. And then you need to send that information to HMRC electronically using MTD Making Tax Digital compliant software. Well, Cirrostratus is one example of that. There's a, there's a list of many that's available via HMRC's website. So the law is 7022, and the principle of this is simply that once you've got the electronic data, you don't end up retyping. You have to use electronic transfers. And the way this works is you have a spreadsheet, and you can then transfer that information from the spreadsheet into a web page. If we look, here's an example of the web page, and you can see that it has all the figures here for um, all, the, all the spaces here to submit data. You then submit that data through to HMRC, um, and that's, that's the job done. And it doesn't necessarily cost a lot of money, um, but there are some complexities which it's worth following through. Uh, there are a lot of detailed uh, videos which explain individual aspects of this, but the idea of this is just to look at the general high-level aspect of things. And one aspect is how do you get a company such as Cirrostratus or Sage or whatever to be able to send your VAT return via their website or whatever? And the answer to that is what's called open authorization. And that is a system whereby what, what you do is you have an option to connect one system, one computer system, to another computer system. This looks at the HMRC test system, and you click on, in fact, this in this instance, the Cirrostratus website, and it then takes you to HMRC's website, and you can then go through that process. You put in your gateway number, and you put in your um, password, and then that goes on to give authority to a third party, in this instance, Cirrostratus, it could be Sage, it could be whoever, to be able to submit your VAT return. Now, Cirrostratus has an interesting function that we have a test mode and a live mode. And you can see by the green things here that this is live, and if we click it back again, it can go into test mode. And that's quite useful because if you're in test mode, you can experiment with the system and it links up to HMRC's test systems, um, but you, d you, don't, you know that none of the information is going to go anywhere. They delete the information on their test system after every two weeks. So it's a way of resolving things. And here, here we have a case of um, submitting a VAT return, and from the test system it says there are two VAT returns that could be submitted. And that information in this instance is taken from a spreadsheet. Now, the objective of this video was a very short video, looking at a high level basis, how you take information from a spreadsheet or from other computer systems, you then load that into a web page, and then you send it in to HMRC. You have test options and non-test options, so you can try it out if you feel you want to check out how it all works. And you need to use the authorization system called open authorization or OAuth in order to grant authority to the Cirrostratus system in this instance, but it could be Sage, it could be somebody else in other situations, so that they, their software is allowed to send in data for you. I hope that was useful.